Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, So Now with Sarah Jean, where I'm an aspiring homesteader trying to live within modern times. In today's video, we are going to be harvesting garlic. So this is going to be my first time harvesting garlic. I planted these garlic cloves in October, and it is now July, a couple days after July 4th, and we are going to harvest all the garlic. See how many we got. I did not label my varieties, so I have like no clue until I pick them what's gonna be what. <laughs> because uh, I did plant some that were like supposed to be red, some that are, I think this is music garlic. I ordered all of my garlic from MI Gardener. And yeah, I'm really excited to see what this harvest will bring. So come join me. So just based off the size of the stalks, I can tell that some varieties did better than others. And I wish I labeled them because then I would know what to get next year and what not to. But I did want to talk about garlic scapes. I have touched upon this on my Instagram and I posted a short video here on my YouTube channel that you want to, I don't know if I missed this one or if it came late, but you want to pick off the garlic scapes off your garlic, which is this little, one here in the middle, it, it will end up producing a, a garlic flower. And so your stalk spends all of its time trying to produce this flower instead of producing the garlic head, which you can tell this is obviously now a tiny garlic head. Um, I thought that all these were ready to pick because you want to look at the bottom leaves here. I can show you better. On, let's see, let me pick another one. Okay. So you can see the bottom, like three or four leaves are starting to die off. So that's when you know that this is ready to pick so that it doesn't start to mold or what can happen is the garlic will crack and cloves, more cloves will try to like grow out of the cloves that are already in here. So that's how I knew my garlic was ready. Um, also, I'm in zone 7B, so early July is when I want to be harvesting my garlic. Um, we had a really big rain the other day, so I know that these are going to be a little easier to pull out based on the soil still being a little wet. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick these out, and we will talk about how we're going to cure them. probably should have fertilized them a little more. I didn't fertilize them as much as I should have, but I'm gonna blame it on the pregnancy. <laughs> garlic is such a cool thing to grow. We go through so much garlic. I planted, I believe these are all hard neck varieties. See, some of these are just absolutely tiny, but I can still use them. I'll just use them before I use the bigger ones. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I, I got a hard neck varieties because they grow better in my climate. Sometimes we get some harsh winters. This winter we didn't get really harsh winters at all. I probably could have grown soft neck, which I will try next year. So soft neck will store better. You can braid them and store them like in a root cellar or in your cellar. And the hard neck will still last a while. The hard neck will probably last me about up to six months. And it's like some of these are duds, which is expected. I mean, not every single one of them can come out. That one's kind of hard to pull out. Might need a shovel for some of them. smell amazing. And then what I'll do with all this mulch is just put it in my chicken coop and let them go through it, see if there's any bugs. And I'm going to try to plant something else here, maybe some flowers, some wildflowers. So basically in the fall, all I did was order garlic 
seed off of at my gardener. I also had a friend who gave me some um, that he had extra of, so I just threw them in to see what would happen. And so you plant the garlic clove in the ground and then you mulch it heavily. I just mulched it with some straw and it was kind of just a set it and forget it type of thing. I can't believe how long it takes to grow, but this is truly amazing. Some of these are very tiny, but for my first time, that's okay. Some of them are bigger than others. You know, like this, this one is definitely a good size. <laughs> These ones, not so much, but they're definitely ready to go. I can see like the bottom half of the bottom part of the stalk is dying off. So I'm just gonna take what we can get and be thankful. So you gotta grab them from the bottom and yank them up. Where is the garlic pitch that here? No, you wanna grab them like this. Look, grab it from the bottom and yank it up. Just in the where are they? Mama, where are they? All right here, honey. All these. Oh. And that one. Yeah. yeah. That's not coffee. That red car is not. Girls are helping me pick some garlic. We're picking a little one today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are some little ones, huh? I, got a I did have a friend, ones. the friend who gave me some, gave me some small cloves. So that's probably what produced the small heads. So we got some that are big, some that are small. We're gonna go rinse them off and I will tell you guys the next steps and let's see how many we got. Okay so now that I have all of my garlic pulled I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna rinse off the garlic and then we're gonna put it on a wire rack that I have to dry out uh, for about two weeks. So you do this because and you, and you want to keep it out of sunlight. Um, you want to make sure there's good airflow so I'm gonna leave it in my garage. You could also do this in your basement. You just wanna make sure no sunlight and good airflow. And so then they'll be ready to store and they'll keep longer because you um, dried them up. So you wanna keep the, the whole stock on because this is gonna suck out the moisture. So I'm literally just gonna dunk them, just get that extra dirt off really. So this is definitely not a glamorous setup, but this is what I'm working with. This is the um, setup that I use when I grow my seedlings. So I'm just utilizing this shelving rack and just laying out everything, making sure that the garlic's not touching. I'm almost at 100. I'm at 70 right now. And I think with what I have left, I'm gonna hit 100. So I'm really excited about that. What I'm gonna do, I ended up just, I didn't um, clip off all the roots like I had started to. 
I figured once everything's dry, I'll go ahead and clip the roots off and then the tops. Um, we'll know that it's dry once the green leaves turn brown. And so that should take about two weeks with it being in here in the garage with the airflow, no direct sunlight. And yeah, I'm excited to use this garlic over the next six to eight months. And it's been a wonderful harvest. And I would say that I absolutely love growing garlic. It's totally a set it and forget it type of thing. If you liked this video and you would like to see more of this types of content, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. The videos are probably not <laughs> soon not gonna be every single week as I am due anytime now with my fourth baby, but I'm gonna try to stay on top of things and produce much more gardening content and stuff that we're doing here around the homestead. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great week.